Hello YouTube, my name is Marie. Today we are going to do a first impression video of the first four episodes in the currently airing K-drama, I'll Come to You When the Weather is Nice. First, the synopsis. Now, this follows our female lead, who is a very quiet, pretty closed off music teacher in Seoul, who gets into a little bit of trouble with one of her students. Runs away, essentially, from the stress of city life after this incident and goes back home to a very small farming community. I'm not exactly sure where it is. It, they don't really specify, but I'm assuming it's probably like a bus ride away from Seoul. But I mean, Korea is a small country, so a lot of things are a bus ride away from Seoul. <laughs> but there she plans to stay with her auntie in their family's guest house. Their family's guest house has been run down, really neglected by the auntie. And as a way to kind of distract our female lead from her own problems, she keeps herself busy and she is trying to like re energize this guest house like she's doing all sorts of construction work and let me just say that the the montage of her doing all of these like little house renovations like changing the doors and like making small repairs i actually kind of found it wonderful to watch because i don't think i've seen very many depictions in k-dramas of a woman being super handy like super like jack of all trades the way she's shown in this first episode or first two episodes so I, I really actually liked that like I watched that and was like instantly more enchanted with the show enchanted might be a bit of a strong word but that's the feeling now it's here in this small farming community where our female lead is faced with dealing with the issues of her adolescent life. So poor woman can't get a break. She thinks she's running away to the countryside to run away from her problems, but really she's running away from one city life problem, getting face to face with her childhood trauma. Like poor girl can't get a break. <laughs> she also develops like a friendship and romantic relationship with a neighbor who runs a very quiet little uh, bookstore. So I want to touch on the setting first because it does have this really refreshing quality to it. Like we're not set in Seoul. I feel like the vast majority of K-dramas that we get, you're set in the city. It's like a completely different pace. So it reminds me a lot of um, Pretty Nuna Who Buys Me Food and uh, Because This Is My First Life because those shows also took their time to tell their story. Setting and the landscape look really cozy and something I would feel very comfortable to go and visit and just like really relax, like watch the rain on the porch with a cup of coffee or something, which they do quite often in this show and it's a nice touch. The um, costumes that our characters are wearing, they are not the like high street city office wear that we're so used to seeing, but they look like fabrics and cuts that like farmers would wear be that not quite as lived in like our male lead who's the bookstore owner he's always wearing just like these beautiful sweaters like they look so cozy and comfortable and i'm like mm, i'd like to wear that too <laughs> but at the same time i'm like it looks very expensive <laughs> you know like it that looks like a really nice expensive cozy sweater <laughs> But still, again, the tones are all very cohesive with this like cozy, small little town. Uh, the music is also very minimalistic. I hesitate to bring up this point because I don't know how well I'm able to express it, but the first half of the first episode, um, you really focus solely on our female lead and she is not in a good mental headspace because of the things that have happened with her work, you know, her life in general, she's got a lot of unresolved issues. And the first half of the first episode feels so heavy to me. Like barely any music going on. What you do get is really, really soft and like acoustic guitar, which is pretty. But again, when there's like no soundtrack, somehow it makes the whole 
drama feels so heavy and I think it's because you don't have that release of music <laughs> like music is such an expressive thing so when it's gone and all you hear is like birds chirping and the acting is so powerful like it's so depressed <laughs> that it's like it really weighed on me and it reminded me of like the really anxious feeling that I was getting with him of death if that feeling had continued, I honestly don't think I would have kept watching. But the second half of the first episode kind of switches and you focus primarily on our male lead. He is just so wonderfully awkward. He's just one of the most endearing men I've seen on a K-drama. Like he's just so cute and just so, just like, honey. <laughs> As soon as his character comes on screen, there's like a little bit of a more playful soundtrack that accompanies him because even though he's so quiet and he's so shy, he's also just like such a genuinely kind person. Comedy follows him. Like he's just so inept at talking to our female lead because he's had a crush on her for a very long time and it's so obvious. And he just like acts in these ways that like a really shy like teenage boy would still act and it's just so cute and hilarious like so many moments with him just being him and being awkward had me laughing because they're human they're very human moments and very relatable moments and I loved them so I was surprised at how quickly it switched like I was getting like deep heavy emotions from our female lead and then our male lead comes in and he like lifts it up and like clears the air almost like he balances her out and it makes the show watchable our leads are the reason why i put this on and i think that's going to be a lot of people's main draw to the show because this show is not plot driven this is a character driven drama oh my goodness these leads are doing an amazing job. I have been a longtime fan of, what's her name? I wrote it down in my notes because I can't remember anybody's name. Oh, Park Min Young. I've liked her in a lot of stuff for a really long time. Healer is one of my favorites. What's Wrong with Secretary Kim was a lot of fun and my her private life was a lot of fun. So it's like I'm a very casual fan of all of her work like but I was a huge fan of our male leads work like Cheese in the Trap. He stole my heart in Cheese in the Trap and I also thought he was absolutely fantastic in Are You Human 2 and I think both of them both of our leads are doing some really fantastic work because this is not a plot driven drama like I've already mentioned this is a character driven drama and all of their choices like as actors are very detailed and and very human even though this show is extremely comfortable to watch I don't think that this is a must watch there are certain things that happen in the end of the fourth episode like a specific character that's only mentioned shows up and I think her appearance on the show could add an entire new level and an entire new dynamic that would be really interesting and kind of needed frankly but you know only time will tell like that was the end of the fourth episode and I've only watched four episodes so I debated whether or not I needed to give this series another two episodes make it like a, a one to six first impression but if I'm still so unsure after the first four episodes that is also kind of helpful because four episodes is not short that is four hours that I've already invested in something that I'm still not totally 100% won over by they're using some creative story telling techniques for instance a lot of conversations between our leads you don't actually watch them play out the way you would normally watch conversations between characters play out. A lot of conversations are had, but they're played over as a voiceover as you're like visually watching something else. And I found that kind of interesting, kind of refreshing. It's just different. It's nice. Overall, the show definitely does have 
indie art house feel. So far, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's as smart as it thinks it is. I'm not sure if some of the layers of the conversation and the nuances of the conversation is being lost in translation. But at the moment, I'm like, yes, this is really nice. This is really refreshing and kind of different. But I don't think you're as intellectual and as poetic as you think you are. <laughs> Are you someone with a short attention span? This probably isn't the show for you, but are you someone who really enjoys a slow paced character-driven drama? Then give it a try. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye.